we begin at the beginning and offer this uh, experience, this show, the show, the performances for the benefit of all parents, from all mothers, all fathers, all inner mothers, all inner fathers, all children, and all inner children. May we be healed, may we be enlightened in wisdom, compassion, all those good things. And, and let us be laughing and happy inside, even though sometimes outside there's not much to be laughing and happy about. In 2002, my mom was diagnosed with multiple system atrophy, which is a slow degenerative process that degenerates the, the neurological system. She was, had a stroke. She was rendered uh, sort of helpless in a bed, bedridden uh, with dementia. And when I, find, when I saw her, I live in Brooklyn, and when I saw her uh, and came home to be with her during this period, she was bedridden in the family home, in the front room, and she was screaming for hours and hours and hours the entire day that she was falling. And my father, and at the time her caretaker, uh, Brenda, they were beside themselves, they didn't know what to do. And we would try different things, music, uh, television, books on tape, pictures, visual aids, just anything to maybe distract her from screaming. And um, one day, out of desperation, I gave her a piece of paper and a pencil for her, uh, the hospital tray that was near, uh, over her bed. And she began to draw, and she was quiet for the first time in weeks. She scribbled, and I would give her another piece of paper, and she would scribble, and she was quiet. So when I left to go back to Brooklyn, I told the caretakers, and I left pencil and paper, and I asked them to give her pencil and paper every day. And she would draw, and I would call every day to check in on her, and she was drawing every day. And so when I came back a couple months later, she had drawn in a book I had left. And at first there were scribbles, but in the book I had this visceral reaction to, by seeing this, this book, that she had began to create these fully resolved compositions that were full of emotion, and they transformed from scribbles to these incredible drawings. And I saw this incredible potential for her to deal with the end of her life and sort of express her feelings to the end of her life through these drawings. My dad had a hemorrhagic stroke, very, very intense experience. And he was being taken care of 24-7 by many caregivers. And I was videotaping every second, almost, of our life together because I became the presence the, the entire time. And Maggie, I believe it was, one of the caregivers one day brought paints. And we brought them to the kitchen table, the paints, and we brought flyers from Montana's shoe store as paper and put paper in front of my father and the paints. And this miracle happened. He began focusing like a Zen master, like someone who was totally focused on creating a new life and a new language. And it was the language of expression of color and of form and of communication. He had lost, at that point, after three years of more strokes, he had lost verbal communication. But he was really present spiritually. And these drawings became a vehicle for him to express his very mystical spiritual life. Dad was always someone very dignified, very holy. I considered him very holy. A very wonderful man, very honored uh, by all, very smart, very intelligent, but not egoistic. I would sit next to him along with the other caregivers who were with him. And in the afternoon, 
usually in, in the afternoon. We'd bring him to the kitchen and he would do these meditations of color on paper and they would be magical, they would be exciting, uh, they would be uh, surprises. This is lyrics from I'll Fly Away. I'll fly away, fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away in the morning when I die, hallelujah, by and by. I'll fly away, I'll fly away. When the shadows of this life have gone, I'll fly away. Like a bird from prison bars has flown, I'll fly away. I'll fly away. <laughs>